Let's see who else is on the show tonight. We've got a great programme lined up for you. My first guest is the world's cutest scientist. It is Professor Brian Cox. <laughs> there he is. Hello. A brilliant man, a brilliant young man. Brian is a big fan of Oldham Athletic. Is that right? And what a victory. Liverpool 2, Oldham 3. Wow. One of the great FA Cup ties of all time. So you still go and see them play? Um, I haven't seen them for a long time, actually, but I believe it's one of the coldest places in the universe, actually, <laughs> apparently. How do you figure that out? Well, you get temperature, don't you? Thermometer. <laughs> Hold on. I'm just what do you mean? Oh, he's doing his research. OK, that, that explains it, then. <laughs> you will have to explain things to me, you know that. <laughs> Professor Brian Cox, ladies and gentlemen, I'm thrilled he's back on the show. I'm a huge fan, I'm sure you are too. Now, that's the show. Just before we get to that, I want to show you something. This is a genuine thing that we've been sent in. I don't know if you've seen this. Have a look at this. Anyone got any idea what this is? <laughs> it's a special shoe. <laughs> Someone just said a brown shoe. <laughs> Since when did a brown shoe qualify as being a special shoe? <laughs> no, this is, this is a shoe phone. Look at this. <laughs> there is a phone, a working phone, built into the sole of this shoe. I think you can get them uh, from uh, Phones for Shoe. OK, and... <laughs> uh, and if you think people talking on their hands free look weird, imagine how it would be if you see someone walking down the road talking like that. One sock on, the other shoe there, and chatting away. People think you've had a breakdown. This looks cool, though. I think this looks pretty cool. We have to send this back. It actually works. Uh, I'll demonstrate in a minute. I want to take a picture of it. I've got my other phone here, so I'll take a picture of it on my other phone. <laughs> OK. <laughs> that must be good. Let's see if it works, shall we? I'm going to dial. I've got someone's number here. So. I can't get a signal. Hold on. That's better. That's better. <laughs> Brian. <Hello. laughs> Brian, are you OK? <laughs> we've had a word, we've had a word with the doctors. Tell John he's coming on first. Does this look strange? It looks... Welcome back. It's time for my next guest this evening. He is the nation's favourite former boy band member turned scientist. It is Professor Brian Cox. <laughs> they weren't really a boy band, were they? That was, uh, that's not really accurate. D Ream, they weren't really a boy band, were they? No. Not really. We were getting on a bit even then. Hey, um, um, would I be right in thinking, I think certainly in this country, but maybe in the world, you're one of the best known scientists on the planet now, but, but certainly here in the UK, you must be our best known scientist, Oliver. I suppose, well, the Stephen Hawking, of course. All right, OK, um, yes, all right. Okay. <laughs> He's been on The Simpsons. Yeah. We, uh, uh, have they asked that. you yet? No. No, it won't be long, I'm sure. Um, but, but you are now, uh, whether you like it or not, you have become a celebrity in your own right now. Uh, you are famous for your shows, famous for your books. Is that something... Do you enjoy that, or would you rather that hadn't happened? Does it get in the way of, of the science that you used to do and, and still like to do? It does a bit. I mean, I've gone back to, to the university, so I go back to Manchester in the autumn term. I teach first years. And that, that was a decision. I'd kind of avoided students for my whole career. That's a very so didn't, good... You know, I've tried to do that my whole yeah. life. <laughs> but but um, then after, after the TV shows, I wanted to start thinking again. So, so I teach the first year, quantum mechanics and relativity. And it's funny because, you know, you think... Like you said, you know, I'm on television, I get recognised a lot. And so there's a moment for about a minute when you walk into the lecture theatre and they're there and, and it's that bloke on telly. But then, then the moment you start writing, someone says, Bigger writing. Speak up a bit. I don't understand. And, and they forget within a minute because they've got to do an exam. So it's back in it. into so, you're just another professor. Yeah. You're just another teacher. So let's talk about your new show. And the show is called Wonders of Life. It started on BBC Two. Explain uh, what the premise is. It's a science show. Yeah. So it's, the question is, what do we know about the origin of life on Earth? Uh, what do we know about how it went from the simple to the complex over 3.8 billion years? You're really entering into biology here as well, aren't you? Uh, not, it's not just kind of the physics with which yeah. you know your name. I guess I they're, to touch they're animals as a... To, actually, I, I saw... Um, <laughs> he leaves on the show. He doesn't mean oh. right now. That sounds like you were saying, right now, I, I have and to touch something. That's kind of got... <laughs> I've always had felt the need to touch animals. <laughs> <Not like, laughs> no, but actually... It's, 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 what a strange place to make this confession. No. <laughs> <laughs> and 
I'm quite. Um, see, I, I never went fishing as, as, a, as a child, for example. And I think in, in uh, the one that was on last week, um, I had to hold this catfish, this giant yeah, thing. That was a big this fish. It's big, it's enormous. And, and they're, uh, it's, they, they said to me, it's all right, um, it, it won't move. Uh, where, when it's out of the water, if you keep hold of it. But in the water, they can pull you under, they can drown you, those things. <laughs> so they were saying, so I just trusted them and held it, and indeed it just sat there. But then I had to put it back over the boats, and the moment you put it in the water, the thing goes like that. And um, they, they have weird, a different kind of nervous system, don't they? They have a different receptors on the outside of their they, body. They, they live in uh, rivers like the Mississippi, it's full of silt, so they don't need eyes, really. So their eyes are next to useless. But they're like, a, they're, they're one giant tongue if you can imagine that. The whole thing is like a taste sensor, and it tastes the water, and it can build up a 3D picture of the, of the river, and it can hunt, but by uh, detecting chemicals in the water rather than seeing. I don't believe any of that. <laughs> Why? A giant tongue living in a river? <laughs> What's wrong what? with you, cops? Essentially... You're teaching young people this nonsense. There's stranger <laughs> things than that. I know, <laughs> that's what I love about the show. There are, I'm obviously joking, there are so yeah. many strange things, so many weird creatures. Let's have a look at you with something, because this is kind of, this is sort of, for you, I, I suppose, moving into slightly new territory, mm -hmm. certainly your TV career. Let's have, this is the wonders of life, I can't recommend it highly enough, I love it. Look what we've just found. We were out looking for giraffe this morning, we've found about ten of them just over there, but... In looking for the giraffe, we've just found a leopard. This is one of the top predators out here. He's got very little to fear, apart from other leopards and maybe lions. Now, he's looking for protein. And I'm a little bit worried, because I'm protein. That's a clip from tomorrow night's episode of Wonders of Life. That, that was, uh, it was genuinely frightening, that. The, the, the ranger told us it won't come in, the Land Rover. But it was, it was like a little, you know, you've got a little kitten, and, yeah. and you put... Cos the, the big the sound pole is like that, with a big fluffy bit on the end, and the sound man's... And he started playing with it. He said, don't do that. It's a laugh. It comes in here, it'll be like a blender. You know, cos it's... A, I mean, they really are. Beautiful, but frightening animals. OK, so the book is a, is a fabulous, lavish book out to accompany the series uh, Wonders of Life. It really is, and it's incredible. Uh, photographs and also incredible science in here, which I guess is, uh, and that's one of the things you do best, I think, which is communicating these very complex ideas to people like me who don't necessarily have the, the knowledge that's necessary to grasp it any other way. So it comes with, and I normally forget it after I've put the book down, but I love it while I'm reading it. Uh, it doesn't stay in my head that long. Uh, now, water is crucial to life on yeah. this planet, and that I got from uh, your programme, but I knew that one already. Um, <laughs> But the electrolysis of water is something you'd like to demonstrate this evening. Now, yes. why, why is this important? The, the what does this is, mean? The reason is because we, we want to see an experiment, and, and pla even a plant can do this. Okay. So I thought it was the ideal experiment to try. <laughs> <laughs> even I can do it. <laughs> yeah. well, I mean, the, the point is that so you're going to see it's, it's difficult to split okay. water. So we're going to split water into, into what? Into hydrogen and oxygen, which so that's are component what... parts. But all that we're going to do it with a car battery, big car battery. Okay, well, so I have the a car, they put this behind me, I'm a bit... Oh, blimey, it's a heavy one. So I'll put that there. Yeah. There's a car battery they bought in. If I could ask your assistant... Bryson. Come on. Bryson, how well. are you? Very well, thank okay, you. OK, thank you. Right. Thank you. The slight problem with this... <laughs> ..is it's a bit dangerous. Is he in the Muppets? <laughs> <laughs> don't, say, don't say that to him. You know what he could do with those. Yeah, but... I was only asking. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to connect the battery up. OK, he's we're connected gonna... the battery up. Right, okay, as where... soon as we connect the battery up, that's water in there. It's breaking it down into hydrogen and oxygen. So there's metal things going down into the water. Yeah. And the, the electricity is going to the water and it's... Yeah, we're ripping the oxygen molecules apart. Wow. And bubbling a gas into there. Now, if you... I want to demonstrate what this gas is. Put some of that on your hand. I'm going to bubble it into there. This is just washing up liquid? No. Have you heard of the Hindenburg? Yes, I have. Oh, what what happened to? to it? It exploded. Yeah. So, the interesting thing... <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, hydrogen and oxygen want to be together. Water's a very stable molecule. Do so, you're... it's a remarkable thing that every blade of grass in your garden can do this yeah, well, without less a car talking, battery. More experimenting. Come I'm on, doing let's some do it. science. I'm not... I'm doing educational value. I just no don't one cares. Want to, they want to hear a bang. Off. Well, you're... You're, <laughs> you're going to go up like a... Oh, no! <laughs> Whoa! Holy <laughs> Christmas! Oh! Whoa. I've got a big ringing going on right now! <laughs> wow! 
I can I mean, I I mean, it's just a bad wow, yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's do that one. Go on. Should we do the big one? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going in. Oh, mother. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. So, but that is just water. It's <laughs> just <laughs> and that is just water and what's your liquid? But that's what water is made of, hydrogen, which is extremely flammable and reacts back with the oxygen in the atmosphere into water again if you give it a little kick. And so that is the Big Bang. It's, it, it was a <laughs> Big Bang. <laughs> it took me a while to recover from um, that, actually. That was <laughs> really quite horrible. But, uh, so why did we have the... We had the, the <laughs> soap liquid to make the bubbles. Yeah, to maintain so we, we, the... we're filling it with hydrogen. So, so that's hydrogen gas, which is wow. the most common element in the universe. 75% of the universe is made of hydrogen. Ah, oh, OK, that was great. Wasn't that great? <laughs> it was a great experiment. <laughs> And we are now all <laughs> professors of physics. Uh, how great to have you here again. I love your shows and I, I always enjoy spending Thank time you. with you. Professor Brian Cox, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. That was great. Um,